It's time to play that music. It's time to light the lights. It's time for the hump. Welcome everybody to the hump. We have Meg today. How do you do? And of course, Julius and Jace. Hi. Welcome. Well, we've got lots coming up. Let's start with today's news from ProTech. Heaps in the news this week. Read the October issue of CX free at cxnetwork.com.au. Catch Light Tonight with dazzling lights in our interview of lighting royalty Richard Pilbro at Light Tonight channel on YouTube. ProTech News is loaded with new audio from AES and we hope to see you at ICTech next week in Perth, then the week after in Adelaide and Melbourne. Everything you need to know is in ProTech News every Wednesday. Register your email address at juliusmedia.com to stay informed. Today we're talking wearable technology. This sounds very fascinating. Okay, it's a it's a pretty growing sector. Like everybody's competing to get yes. some money onto our bodies in some way. So we've got to, we've rounded up a few examples. So let's firstly let's have a have a look at this one. This is called the circuit or circlet circuit, I think bracelet. So we're having a look at the video now, and so basically you can see what it's doing. It's it's taking your phone interface mm -hmm. and projecting it onto your arm and as you can see the, all the various applications they're showing. So it's basically a projector that's working via Bluetooth as far as I can tell. Hmm. Now, what's your, what's your opinion there, Julius? Because oh, you look fairly come on, what You bring this stuff to me, you know I'm going to bag it. <laughs> Well, I think it's one rubbish word. as well, to He's be still wearing a mood ring from yeah, the okay. 70s. That's his tech. And it's always Cosmic. glowing, cranky. <laughs> <laughs> I think it looks fancy, but it's stupid. I, I, yeah, I think there's a lot of people who go, I'm, I'm going to buy that because it looks like fun and then have almost immediate regret <laughs> afterwards. I don't get it. Free little work. Yeah. Why? Yeah, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at this one because I really don't get this. This is called the bracelet. All right, so it's basically a, a wristwatch version you know those shakers we stick under drum seats yes. so for, I, for use with IEM? So the, You're yeah. joking. Yeah, but like, I, I cannot see how a, a little shaker on your wrist that will Maybe go in time. Maybe it's not meant to be on your wrist. Only on my... <laughs> <laughs> I reckon stick it up your clacker, it would work better. <laughs> it wow. probably would work a lot better, but I can't see there's much of a market for that. That there's would always be some sales. A, uh, some, I know friends who know friends. <laughs> okay. Some hardcore fans. But anyway, my favourite one, I think the one that might actually do what it says on the tin is this, and this is the sub pack. So as you can see, here's, here's a photo of it. This is basically a giant like combat body armour vest. It looks like vest. a bloody yeah. straight jacket. It doesn't look comfortable. It's like it's bulletproof. Um, but what it does is it, it emulates like sound pressure waves of sub on your body. And uh, this is apparently what it feels like to wear it. And uh, let's have a look at the video. Oh! <laughs> What? Oh! Wow! <laughs> wow! Dad, I didn't buy. I reckon that looks like fun. What do you think? It's a defibrillator. All the ambos are going to be having a great old time in the back of the ambulance with that thing. Crank it up to 11. Yeah, exactly. Look, I'd like, like to try it. Going. For that yeah. price, maybe, if I went to a concert, if I was wearing it, I might... He looks like, like he's just creamed himself. <laughs> he looks excited. I feel like I might get searched for a bomb, like I'm wearing a vest, you know, and yeah. that, wearing that under my clothes. You wouldn't want to stroll down the street in any kind of contentious or public area. No. Yeah, yeah, you'd get no. shot. Yeah. You... But it's Why? bulletproof, maybe. Because <laughs> there's money to be made. It's just... <laughs> Look, I, I know you want to try it though. No, I don't. Really? No. Oh, I'd love to. Mm, all I think right. it feel nice. Well, we'll come back right after this. The Mackie DL32R is a powerful 32-channel digital mixer, completely controlled wirelessly from Mackie's intuitive Master Fader iPad app, freeing you to get in the mix like never before. The Master Fader control app is where everything happens. It's the most intuitive control app on the market, proven at more than 2 million live shows the world over. 
Download Master Fader for yourself to see it in action. Thanks for watching. Hello crystal ball gazers, let's hear the news from the great gig in the sky. Libra, you know how you got into this industry to use your skills to help enhance the art and beauty of the shows and acts you love live on stage? Just remember that as the Dental Association conference you're doing runs into its ninth hour. Scorpio, they say you're only as good as your last gig. Unfortunately for you, that means you're as good as an under-rehearsed, hastily thrown together, four hour long end of year dance school recital. Sagittarius. Today your clients will have last minute demands, unrealistic expectations and no budget to pay for them. Thankfully, this only happens on days that end with why. Have a great day everyone. And if anyone tells you that problems are opportunities in disguise, it's okay to hit them with whatever tool you're carrying at the time. Optoma has expanded its professional range of installation projectors with two new models, the W515 and the W515T. Delivering 6,000 lumens, both models offer large zoom range, a lens shift and built-in geometric adjustment that allows the installer to adjust each corner of the image to create a perfectly square picture. This is practical when requiring image stacking, use on uneven walls or in locations where the projector needs to be installed on an angle. Available on the Optoma W515T, HD Base T gives installers the ability to transmit uncompressed HD video and audio over a CAT 5E or CAT 6 Ethernet cable, as well as control commands using the local area network. Okay, we're back in. We, now we've we've seen some rubbish wearable tech, but we've actually had some you know decent ideas of something we would actually use. Now, Julius, what was yours? Very industry specific, uh, and a good idea. What about a little accessory that goes on your hand that you can actually operate lights, change direction, mm. open beam, mm. change color, mm -hmm. things like that, or turn up audio. So it's like you're yeah. conducting in the air, but you're actually. Yeah. Pretty much. I like that idea, like LDs on stage going, right, bring it here, make it this wide, yeah. you know, just going like that. It'd be funny to watch too. It'd be <laughs> almost <laughs> Marcel me. Marceau, really. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's a great idea. My I don't think that's far. It's I love like, my martyrs. If, if it could just translate movement into like wireless DMX, it's yeah. beautiful. Okay, what, what about yours? my idea is, you know how you like to share a, a video and you're like, oh, watch this, but you want everyone to see it at the same time? So what if there was like a projector? app you could get on your phone and then you could just go oh it goes on the wall watch this yeah on so, any wall and so while you're, you're in the uni watch. lecture and you're accidentally watching um <laughs> whatever it is you beep it up we know <laughs> yeah yeah this is like yeah, well, I think it would be brilliant. Fine. I think everyone should know what you're watching. You'd want to have mm. put a, like, a little passcode on it just to make sure you know what you're doing. Absolutely. Mm. Another good ideas. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Speaking of great ideas for gear, let's have a look in Gearbox. Now, Julius, this is an Extron CCI Pro 700. Now, what does that first look like to you? Well, it's a teleconferencing interface of some kind. Yeah, yeah, it's immediately recognisable. You've yeah. got the numbers, you've mm. got the red phone, you know, the, the green phone, go, stop, hang up, conference. And that's the thing. That's exactly what it's designed to look like. But it's actually not. I mean, it is, but it's actually if it was, much more than that. If it was just that, then the review, review would now be over. <laughs> it, would, it would be over, but, we, <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> now, what Extron are thinking here is, and this is a, a theme that's emerging in the AV industry at the moment, is about the end user and the end user interface. Well, I hope you've been enlightened by um, all the wearable technology that you've found out about today. We'll see you next week on The Hump. Bye. Bye.